why we can't have nice things. What's up, everybody? Mike Saylor here, Session Podcast. Big Bad Phil with me today. It is July 13th, July 12th, July 13th, 13th, July 13th here in Wisconsin. We are at my property, the BMR, here today. Um, we already cleared the whole edge of my cornfield uh, down there where the we're going to put that brassica plot in today. We're going to show you that. Um, the edge is a whole walkway there. Um, got a stand location that's going to go in there with the brassica, so we got to get that mowed off and sprayed here since it's the middle of July. Um, this is the trail coming in uh, to my woods on the bottom side here. We're just kind of cleaning this up. Um, we are heading up to uh, Rut Ridge with a uh, mock here. We showed you that earlier in the year, so we're going to get up there now. Like I said, mid-July, we're going to get this mock hung. Um, it's time to start getting cameras out here pretty soon, so stick around. Session Podcast, Small Property Layouts. This is a stand that we don't even hunt until uh, until late October, early November. So um, we had uh, we had two huge, huge deer up here last year that were using this ridge. This is uh, as we're going up here. You'll see this is all thick bedding that we did bedding improvements that we did on the top of this ridge. Uh, this would be year four on it now. Um, got a stand up there that we've had for quite some time right on the top of the ridge uh, north side of this ridge these bucks trail this edge scent checking and then kind of swing up into the top of that bedding and go back down pond on the other side so we kind of made a trail which we'll show you here as we're going and uh, we're gonna get a mock up there this is the deer trail here we like to use we did open it back up um, this spring because we had some trees down as you can kind of see up ahead there um, this is a super thick bedding area that we put in here this will be year four on it on the cut so as you can see we're really getting the undergrowth come up now it's really heaven here of course you can see we have more crap down which is why we're doing this again. So. Guy had already cut that out of the way early. <laughs> it must have been the rest of the tree fell down. Yeah. Edit. yeah so we're up here on Rut Ridge. We'll show you this trail and everything coming back in, but um, we'll pan this and show, but I hinged a bunch of these box elders um, this trail that I'm on here, let me kind of probably run that a little yeah. bit better for me. Um, this trail that I'm on here used to run just the bottom side of this hill and then go up. Well, so what I did is I blocked this area off and we're forcing them back up this hill, which they're starting to use, we can see. Um, but I need help because we're going to hinge a couple more of these and really shut this off so that they're not going to want to go up and around and down in there. Because right now they can go around this tree and drop down in and we don't want that. If they go straight up here is where we have our rut ridge stand we call it. Which actually I can see it from here. It's probably only 30 yards. And then we're going to put a mock right up on top in this little area that we cleaned out. So Phil's going to give me a hand and we're going to hinge some of these bad boys. See now this area we opened up. So we're gonna string this mock across here, giving the deer 
you know, you like to give them six feet ish around that mock. Um, so this trail comes in, we gave them a way to actually come through the main trail, which is back here off to the south side of the stand, or north side of the stand, sorry, um, which is the main trail back behind there. Pond is directly down below this ridge. This is all thick bedding area all the way around this. So this stand is very particular to get into. It's only a, a morning stand. Um, and it's only late October, early November. So we're gonna get a mock hung up here, get a camera up here. We used our chainsaw lawnmower to do this. So hopefully this works out. Bill had some big bucks up here last year, just didn't get it to happen. So we're gonna try to help him out this year a little bit. Or me, or Carl. Stay out of my stand. Or that deer that just took off. Was there one? Yeah. <laughs> you hear the whole time. We've got our uh, mock string here. One of the mocks that actually Carl and I found when we were cleaning some brush, so we cut it off. But uh, we talk about these all the time. We like to have a little hook on the end of them, if you can find that. They really like to hook that on their head and use it that way. Um, that diameter, too, is only, you know, that big inch around inch and a half is the best it seems that they seem to prefer so we got that at our waist you know now this will drop just a hair so that's where we're going to tie that in pan straight up to that fill and that's our stand right there um, all we're going to do now is we're going to clean this trail just a little bit better to it we've got nice accesses in and out here for them so they don't feel trapped they're going to feel really nice and secluded here because I said this is their bedding area so morning only stand this is where you want to catch them we have food now a brassica plot uh, straight to the south below this um, inside the cornfield and there's going to be another 300 gallon water hole going in down there too so we're really trying to utilize this bedding uh, this is right on the border of my neighbor actually he has a small food plot there so we use that also um, this is kind of a main bedding area We've talked about fallback bedding areas. So back behind this is a fallback bedding area. So if the neighbors push in, it doesn't push this deer off our property, it just pushes them back in our property, even better for us. So I get this mock tied up, finish this up, and we are going to get the hell out of here. follow me there you've seen that so we're just we have a trail that's going up in there already so we just put that mock damn thorns and uh <clears throat> we're just really making it more visible easier for them to use because you know everybody thinks that these bucks these big bucks like to use these big thick heavy trails only if they have to they don't want to do any more work than you or i do to get there so nice trail like this just funnels them right up into that mock is what we're hoping so um, you can see back here behind me, this is where we did a lot of those hingings to turn them from going down the hill to up the hill. So whether they use this trail or they use our trail up there that goes to the stand, doesn't matter to us either way. So either way, it puts them in uh, danger. If they turn up and take the higher stand and you're paying attention, you got a 20 yard shot of them coming to you. So, because they're most likely going to be, they may be quartered to you a little bit, or if you wait, they're going to basically come right underneath you, right? Wait, wait, Phil, wait a little bit. Only in like three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so, really love this spot. Um, put this stand in here probably in 2018, actually. Um, only just really started to utilize it, though, after um, all the TSI and hinge cutting that we've done up here now. So. Phil and I got this one good. Um, the only time we'll be back up in here now is to set a camera on that and then we'll kind of uh, monitor that. Hopefully we can show you some good activity there. So on to the next project. -o.
Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is that brassica food plot we're going to put in for this fall. You can see Phil was filming me uh, mow it off, so we got this corn barrier all around it. We also have the switchgrass that we planted on the other side of that um, with our pine trees. So straight back here, we got a mock hanging that they use, staying right up above it. We're putting in a 300 gallon water hole just inside this trail here. Um, so this should be a nice little secluded plot um, and we're gonna be able to get around this in the morning and get up in here behind this to catch them coming back from feeding in the morning. So uh, a lot of good bucks come in here, CRP field uh, straight to my east. Um, so we got this mowed down. We're gonna go and check our bottom plot. We gotta get that mowed down. We're gonna spray these both off today here because we're gonna be planting these in probably the next two weeks. So got our trail all cleaned up this morning and that mowed down too, so. And bro spray this. I'll probably spray it again in about five days. Try to get this dead bed and brown. Otherwise if we till it up it's gonna be a mess. Clover so, really took it over from last year's fill-in stuff so I'm sure the deer are loving it right now but we're gonna get the mower back and the sprayer filled up and spray off these two plots and get ready for brassicas.